Got it. Hey, guess what? Hey, I wanna. Oh, go ahead. I did a leg workout yesterday morning, right? And that's my first leg workout in probably 15 years. <laughs> no, all you gotta do is do some mobility stuff after. You'll be good before and after. Yeah, I didn't. My by mobility, all I did was walk around. Not <laughs> <laughs> well, well, to the car later. after the workout. Uh, no, because I worked out. I worked out in my backyard. So, oh. <laughs> You didn't do like you ain't do like cats be doing now. They just get on that machine to go between their legs and. Oh no! The whole <laughs> no, I didn't do that. Oh okay. I don't have I don't have that. <laughs> oh, you just did in the backyard, so you did like prison style. Hey, it was it was no, it was an outside gym. We got you know. I, we oh got, okay. We got a weight rack and and dumbbells and all that good stuff, but. I know the prison one. You do like a couple. You do a couple uh, Roman deadlifts. You turn around, look, and then you do a sprint. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> that's 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 it. it <laughs> alert. It keep you right. You don't gotta worry about it. You do a couple <laughs> squats and then you sprint. Oh man! But yeah, so now I'm I'm hobbling around and go laughing every time you see me walk. <laughs> or see me sit down. <laughs> you got new legs. Nah, but for real, uh, what you need to do is not like the stretching, the uh, the static stretch. You got to do like some dynamic stuff, yeah. and a little bit of hip mobility. You'll be good. Yeah, I started. I started doing a little bit. I was. I went out to the park this morning. Kind of yeah. Walking. You still play basketball? No. Oh, <laughs> uh, I said just do a little bit of that. Hey. You'd be good. Hey, I'm fully you retired. I'm fully you retired from everything. All I do, oh. <laughs> all I do is, well, I do go to work, but my work consists of wearing a t-shirt, board shorts, and flip flops. No. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess that's the, I see you got. I see you got the the Pepe Le Pew beard and stuff going on. Bro, the did, you, did you say? Did you say board shorts or boy shorts? <laughs> boy. <laughs> he said boy shorts. Oh, I know. They say it's daddy. I, I was about to say it says hoochie daddy season. I ain't know if you that in Hawaii. Hey. Look, look hey. at that. Why? Hey, I'm not trying to drop any sponsors' name or whatnot, but Fred Beats, Fred Beats, are forcing me to try to wear ho- ho- hoochie daddy shorts. Hey, hey, hey! I hate to say this, but uh, I wear Sophie's like every day. Yeah, but so. see, you you work with like the special forces tactical people though. Yeah, I wear them for everything. I wear so them for MMA training. Those, those I wear it to the right? pool. Nah, yeah, they them things coming to like my to, like to my thigh. The <laughs> shorts are those shorts that the that the Marine, Ranger panties. Yeah, yeah, the Ranger. The Ranger. I wear them all the time. I wear them with training. I wear them. I wear them. When I go to bed. I wear them. <laughs> yeah, sometimes Where? I don't wear drawers. I just wear them. <laughs> <laughs> <Do you? laughs> hey, hey! I have on, I have on my uniform. It's because you know they got they got the little the little the little spandex joints on the inside. Oh, they got that lining like yeah. the, 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 the yeah. Drums. But because I because I'm with I'm with special forces, we get a lot of stuff that now have the spandex, not just the mesh. It's the spandex, like my PT shorts. They shorter, but they got the spandex underwear on the side. So. I just wear them with my uniform. I don't even got washed draw so much. <laughs> so we'll say it's when uh, on that note, <laughs> subject of washing draws. Yo, <laughs> what they do, man, what they do, it's your boy man. Joe, man. Y'all see, we back again. Another episode of You Look Like a Podcast. Y'all know what to do, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit your bell. You know what I mean? So you get notified when we drop something. You know what I mean? Keep keep you entertained. In here with the fellas. Dedrick, what's going on, my brother? Hey, nothing. Nothing. I just got hired on to be a a cook at a karaoke Friday nights. So Yeah, you you the cook at oh, you finna be in that turn. Mm. Ooh. I know you're gonna get the mic back there. Why you cooking? Yeah, <laughs> Ooh, little who yeah, why you, you know what I'm saying? Flip yeah, a well, yeah. While I'm frying chicken, because he said they yeah. said they said they just want soul food. 
They just want soul food. So every week it's gonna be a different different type of soul food um menu. So every Friday. Cook, so every you're gonna Friday. cook your favorite. You gonna cook your favorite. Hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Hot dogs and French fries. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm talking about soul food. Whoa, whoa! Hey, that could be for your soul. No glizzy. No glizzy. Soul food. I can't find any chitlins around here, but when I do find them, they will be on the menu. Lord have mercy. <laughs> This boy here. Dang. And you say that's every you doing it every Friday? Yeah, pretty much every every Friday night. Man. Let me know the, let me know the internet collection like in there. You know what I mean? I might have to log yeah. on and see what see what it's looking like. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> Dez, what's going on, homie? Man, you see it. Over here chilling. Chilling like a villain. Just finished um mounting my TV. Uh, and, and- Handyman this. Yeah, doing a little something. Just call me handyman, not <laughs> living color handyman. <laughs> hey, this hey, it's, it's in you. It's in your blood. It's in your face. More, more Tim the, the hey, Hold on. More Tim the Tool Man Taylor than the actual handyman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> Look at that. Hey. Home improvement with Diz coming soon. Stay mm. tuned. <laughs> I, might, I might record doing my recess lights. Boom. There you go. In there. Put on YouTube. Yes, sir. <laughs> More content. And shout out to that boy Dana. You know, Dana on the run eating somewhere in these streets. He's still still recovering. Uh, Mr. Uh, he had his surgery? Yeah. Yeah. He had oh, okay. surgery. Yeah, because he's yeah. He, he out of commission for a minute. Okay. Okay. Hey, yeah. that means he. That means he's sitting still somewhere. So For he's real. All going. For real. This definitely. He definitely <laughs> should have been done. I took some pain pills and I went to sleep or something. Yeah, he, he recovered. You know how he did. <laughs> <laughs> well, he hurt. Yeah. He hurt. <laughs> yeah, he out of there. So shout out my dog Dana, man. Get well, my boy. You know what I mean. Get the shoulder right, arm right, whatever you got. All that. All that up in there. Get it right. <laughs> you know what I mean. And as always, long live Big Norm. Long live Big Big Homie. Big Homie. Right, and as y'all can see, we have us a a special guest in the building with us. Coming from Texas. I don't know if he's really from Texas. I just wanted to do that real quick. (laughs) He's he's, he's from Virginia, from Virginia originally. He's he's out of Texas. From Texas. (laughs) From Virginia. Residing in Texas. Tuesday, Jones. <laughs> What's Got up? man in the building. Appreciate you coming up, on, my brother. Appreciate you coming on. As y'all can see, he um he fit right in. You know what I'm saying from the little <laughs> intro. Y'all see, he just jailed right in with the whole set. So you know, we we appreciate you coming on, bro. You know what I mean. We like to um, extend our hand and reach out to people that we know that's out here doing things in the world. So. If we can get somebody to, you know, click your Instagram page or, you know, hit your YouTube, watch one of your fights or something, you know what I mean? Then yeah. we, we, we've we done our job. So we, we appreciate your time uh, coming on. So I kind of hand it over to you and, and let you, you know, introduce yourself and, and tell the people what you do. All right. All right. First of all, I appreciate y'all having me up here. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I've known DJ for a long, long time. Hey, still um, he's known me for like 20, almost 20 years. Still me yeah, almost 20, almost 20 years, almost 20 years. Um, I'm in the United States Air Force, but on the other side of that, I fight professionally in MMA. Uh, that takes up a lot of my time going from work to that. And then uh, I'm coaching youth football. I help run the kickboxing at our gym. I help with the youth jujitsu program at our gym. Uh, and, my, and yeah, you're a full time dad, and I'm a full time dad. I got uh, you, you I don't got sleep. Four. You don't got, sleep at all. Yeah, yeah. I was just before we did this. I was out here in this blazing sun, 102. It was about 102, and my yeah. daughter wanted to go to the park, but she didn't want to get in the car, so I had to get in the. So I had to pull her on the wagon. No. All the way to the park. No, man. Nope, nope. She would have been in that car or on that couch. 
Uh, well, also her mom, her mom took the car seat, so I ain't had the other car seat. Oh. The boys drove. Oh. Yeah, so it was super busy. Um, I got a eleven year old, nine year old, seven year old, and a three that think that she's twenty five. Mm. Oh yeah, she wanted. I got a three year old too. You probably just heard her, you know, come over here to show me her hair. Um, but you know, if, if she ain't want to get in the car, you weren't getting in the car, whether you had that car yeah. seat or not. Yeah, because her, 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 brother, her, her brothers wanted to go, so they rode their bike. So I thought she was like talking about riding her tricycle, and then uh, she was like, "Nah, I want to uh, take me in the take me in the cart." Like, you gonna pull me? You gonna pull me? Yeah, you go. And, and she, uh, she, she like, she light skin, so she be having her look. <laughs> hey, she be having her look too much sometimes, man. And she with this curly hair, and she got, she got blue eyes, so she be. Oh lord! Oh yeah, she a princess. Yeah. That's a princess. Yeah, right yeah, there. yeah. And she mean though. She mean though. Yeah, the baby, of, the baby of the bunch. That's for oh something. yeah, yeah, bro. She they she keep me busy. She she definitely keep me busy. Um, like I said, I was uh, I just fought May twenty second. Yeah. I just had a fight. Um, that fight is on UFC Fight Pass. You have to be subscribed to it to get to it. But yeah, I just fought that. That'll be my that was my twelfth professional MMA fight. I had right. six amateur MMA fights prior to that, um, and then being active duty full time. It takes it takes so, a toll out of you. Yeah, yeah. That's what we that's what we were talking about. Like how how do you go? How does one go about being not only like a professional athlete? Because when you was in New Mexico, you also played semi pro football. Yes, I was playing semi pro football. But you, was, you lived in hold on, you lived in New Mexico. Yeah, I was in Alabama. Hey, one time for New Mexico. Where, where you was at? In, in he was New with Mexico. me. He was with me. I was in Alamogordo. Alamogordo. Oh, he was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. One time yeah. for Clovis, though. One time for Clovis. <laughs> but, um, oh, Clovis, but that ain't Alan Gordo. I ain't even going to give a... Hey, I ain't even going to lie. Clo- I ain't even going to get... Clovis was trash. Clovis. I didn't give a shout-out to Alan Gordo either. Yeah, Clovis... <laughs> hey, hey, people yeah. will come hey. up... People will come up from Clovis and be like, man, y'all got... Y'all got, y'all got two Sonics? Yeah. Y'all got, y'all got a chili I can believe Applebee's? I can yeah. believe it. Y'all got hey. both? <laughs> ain't nothing. Hey, I always say ain't nothing. I know some people might get mad about it, but I think they should gr- give people money to move out of that state and make that whole state a prison state. Because once you break <laughs> out, you ain't not going nowhere. State, not the whole state, because Albuquerque is good. Albuquerque is all right. Santa Fe is okay. But yeah, you go to Albuquerque, you know, you get, Albuquerque hey, you get and robbed. Santa Fe, that can be like where they fly yeah, into. Robbed, you go to Albuquerque. Well, yeah, you can right. just fly them into Albuquerque and then bust them right. to the rest of the state. Hey, Yo, that's what I, I agree. Did. I flew into I, Albuquerque and drove I, drove from Albuquerque to to Alamogordo. That was yeah. a horrible drive. Man, hey, if anybody <laughs> seen if anybody seen Breaking Bad, they know the route. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, look, look, I would, I was, I should have known something when I passed through Truth and Consequences and Elephant Butt. When I was driving and I passed through those two places, I'm like. Maybe. Yeah, I don't need to be here. Yeah. Anytime, <laughs> yeah. you, go, anytime <laughs> you gotta go through elephant, but that ain't, that elephant, ain't really I ain't going through no elephant. Look, whenever the most exciting thing, whenever the most exciting thing about a place is the color of sand. <laughs> yeah. Everybody go to everybody go no. down the water to see the white sand desert. Yeah. You know what, you know what uh, boys and men filmed that move that video? That's what in New Mexico. That. Yeah. yeah, they talking about that. They and, they and then you ain't talking about no building. You ain't talking about you talking about sand, literally yeah. white sand. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, so Tony, how does it? How does one go about? Um, what's the process for you to become a professional MMA athlete? Because, like I was telling them, like when you're in the military, the government owns your body. So yeah. <laughs> so, how did you go about talking to them? Talking the military into letting you be an MMA fighter. All right. So first, um, before before MMA really got like U- UFC was still getting it was already big, but uh, before everybody before it became a real mainstream, everybody was really really looking at it. Um, I started off in North Carolina, out in Goldsboro, and back then all we had to do was do it for pretty much you just do. They didn't really know how to view it, so I just had to do the high risk safety stuff. 
and I was competing. Well, I wasn't competing yet. I was just doing. Uh, I would tell them I was doing. I pretty much I was doing boxing. I was doing different training and stuff. I wasn't competing. So the first time when I asked for a fight, uh, when I asked for the fight, pretty much they I had already been training for a while, so they already knew I was training and constantly training in this. So they pretty much um, signed it off for me. And I happened to fall to where I had pretty straight leadership my whole career, uh, as in with that stuff. Yeah, I ain't going to say I, I like my leadership the whole time, but mm-hmm. as in that aspect of stuff, um, they've been pretty good with it. And then I had a, a time off between uh, after North Carolina from when I was in Korea and then I was in Germany. So I had years off and then that's when I landed back in New, that's when I landed in New Mexico and New Mexico. I was already by that time, even though it was years that passed, I had still had like um, four amateur fights. Okay. So and they knew I was training they knew I was um, training it. And then when I was in Germany, I was at least training some people. Um, and so when I got to New Mexico and I asked about it, uh, they pretty much signed, they pretty much signed it off because of the fact that, I was fighting in Las Cruces, but right after that, when I turned when I turned pro after a deployment, so that's why. It, well, first of all, that's why I stopped playing semi pro too because yeah. it got too hard to train, play semi pro, and all that. So when I turned pro in 2015, part of that was I helped establish in New Mexico in uh, Holloman Air Force Base. I started bringing the fights on base, so yeah. I was the one who yeah, started that. bringing I the fights that. on base. So that. that and all that brought the base profit. It brought morale up and it brought yeah. base um, base profit so and stuff. So, so as long as the big Air Force is getting money out of it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> do what you want. Do what you want. Hey, listen, there we go. And that's what he said. You still, so we can make you a couple bucks. Play a role where it, feeds, <laughs> it, it feeds the factory pretty much. Yeah. You know, it, it still feeds it. So when I got here um, in San Antonio, Texas, um, by that time, I had already, I was like, I already have four fights. I think four or five fights already. And uh, so while I'm here, especially because I work with special ops. So pretty much I was, um, I was the li- liaison for combatives program too, for our, for the schoolhouse, cause it's TACP schoolhouse. So um, I was helping with, I was the SME for that. So I was already doing, helping with that. And then our job pretty much here is we get to work out. Yeah, you know, that's that's, you we literally have our own. Yeah. Occasionally, yeah. you go out there and play with some toys, but most part yeah, we out. we go out. We still do field and stuff, but literally, I get like two hours to work out. I can combine workout with my lunch and get a workout every day. And like we have to, we have like the commander said that we pretty much have to have workout time. So with that, when I first started fighting here in San Antonio, um, I had a couple of pro fights. Um, even some of my um, chain of command came to the fights and stuff. And then I ended up getting an opportunity with the um, UFC stuff. I didn't win that fight, but when I got the opportunity, it still made, you know, big Air Force. Yeah. Still was part of it because they always say that, you know, I'm active duty and all that stuff. So I always give some kind of shout out to big Air Force. So it, it plays a role where it's yeah. like you feeding that, you're getting what you want, but you, you're feeding the company, you yeah. know, so. So that's how it ended up. Now, I can't vouch and say it works out for everybody because some people might not get approved. If it wasn't for me having the extensive background already, I might not have got approved. And then I had good leadership. Yeah. That enough that, like I said, I didn't had, I just recently had my 12th professional fight and I'm still good. They still sign all my stuff. They still take care of everything. I always make sure I get the paperwork done. They don't say anything when you come in, when you come in to work with a, with a, with a, Big swollen, swollen eye. <laughs> so, speaking of that, even my last fight, <laughs> I actually never really gotten. Um, um, I never really got a big injury from my fight. I think my last fight, I got a, I had a like a little cut on my eye right here, and my eye was swollen some, but it was no. I just had a little black eye. That was it. Now the other dude, that's a different story. I don't know yeah. what his job was, I but I don't, <laughs> I don't know either, and I don't even know. If his job was, I don't even know if his job was to fight. The yeah, fight, the fight that I yeah, watched. Be, <laughs> hey, he was big. Hey, that was a that was a big boy though. That boy is like six three. But yeah. first of all, I was kind of mad because I was like, afterwards, I ain't gonna lie, my my hand, my elbows and stuff was a little swollen. But he ate like sixty elbows to the face. Yeah. Oh man. Sixty. <laughs> hey, look, sixty. 
And your elbow was a little swollen? What you mean? Yeah, but your elbow point. should have fell off. 60? Nah, man. At, hey. one point, at one point in the Ooh. fight, I don't know what, you know how when you fight with your little brother and you have, you like have his hand, holding his hand. Somehow, oh, yeah. somehow Tony was holding this. Gift wrap, gift wrap. He was holding this dude's hand with one hand. And so dude couldn't do anything. And Tony was just punching him in the face with his other hand while he was holding the other hand. They ain't stop the fight. No, no, they ain't stop it because he kept. He kept. He was so. He was kind of big and he was long, so he was able to eventually maneuver some way. He get a decent position where he can protect himself. <laughs> and his arms was so damn long that when I had him gift wrap and I was a grapple from the other side, this hand was able to still reach all the way up to my face. Like he had them long monkey orangutan <laughs> arms. <laughs> For real. Yo, and one time during the fight, I was up on him, and the, the ref said, I'm about to stop it. He said, no, nah, let him keep going. And he was at the bottom <laughs> eating <the> elbow. <laughs> what? Oh, buddy, crazy. Buddy was but crazy. I put, I put my hand over this man's mouth like this. <laughs> so when he, moved, when he moved my hand, I elbowed him. And this dude just ate it and kept going. He like Man. one of them dudes who you got to, you got to, like, you got to, damn, you got to knock him unconscious, not, like, mm-hmm. make him. Woozy, you gotta knock him straight on out. Or and yeah, I have yeah, the toes curl. <laughs> yeah, and I haven't fought I haven't fought in a little bit. So I had a little time also. Um I haven't fought in like a year and a half almost. So little stuff that I could have capitalized on, I didn't. But at the same time, that's getting back into everything. I was playing it, I was playing it safe, but I was dominating the fight. But I was still had the intention. I had every bad intention to put him out. Yeah. But he just hey, he didn't want to go to sleep. Hey, look, look, look. He's he's, he's talking. He's but, but he's talking. He's talking truth because one his first professional fight that I went to in New Mexico, he speared this dude. <laughs> like, I Goldberg you, I Goldberg. You, like Goldberg speared this dude, and I promise you, it looked like dude's soul just kind of came out of his body real quick and <laughs> <laughs> <He> went back. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I was I was still I was still high in the football, so I was still playing <laughs> football constantly. So but yeah, so um what's the preparation like? What's the prepara- preparation leading up to the fight? What is everything that you like? Do you cut your your diet out? I know I saw you in the in the sauna in the sweat box where you trying to cut weight. And yeah, in the sauna, I ain't gonna lie. Son, boy, it's hey, that it's not for the week. Everybody mm-hmm. think that you're going there after a little workout and you do a little sweat, you get your body glistening a little bit and stuff. But when you're cutting weight and you're cutting water and your nutrition is low, granted, you it's it's a science to it to it, but it's not easy work. But leading up to the fight, okay. First of all, especially with me being in the military, it get it get tough. And I got kids who've high in the stuff. Um, one of my sons, my oldest son, he's here right now, but he's in Florida. Um, which you remember him, that was Antonio Jr. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's in Florida. He lives with his mom, but um, he's here right now. But then I got my other son, Isaiah. That's the one that's, he's doing jujitsu, winning belts, winning championship. I coached him through his first MMA fight uh, the beginning of this year, which he won. Uh, and then he's running track. He played, he was playing basketball, getting ready for football. My old lady, she doing jujitsu. My my other two kids are doing jujitsu too. And so they stay busy. So on top of that, first of all, prepping for that, my this is how my week pretty much is. I go to work. Um, I go to work, I get there about like 7 30, 8 o'clock after I drop the kids off. My I spend my lunchtime 11 and 1 working out to try to get my strength and um, conditioning stuff in because I also got up my bachelor's that is in strength and conditioning. Um, so I kind of run my own workouts. I got a guy that works with me um, to kind of look over the programs that I do. Um, so he does that. And then I got my nutritionist, uh, Feel Your Fight. Uh, Feel your, your Fight Camp, there we go, out in um, Denver. Um, lately she's been helping me out. Um, that's pretty much her IG too at, at Feel Your Fight Camp. Um, she's real good at what she does. She helps out other UFC people and everything. So she kind of helped me out with my diet, but at the same time I was doing carnivore 
stuff too. So I was only eating meat for this, especially this camp. I won't eat no vegetables. I won't eat none. I was only eating meat, which was good. Um, good for me. I wouldn't say anybody can do it. Yeah. Um, but I would go to work. I work out from 11 to one and then I get off. If it's Monday, Monday, pretty much for me, Monday is I get off. I go get my kids. I'll take one. I'll take the nine year old to jujitsu. And then right when his class in, I do jujitsu. Um, and then that's from uh, five to six is his mine's from six to seven. So as soon as he finished that, it's in track season. So he got to go to track. His mom will come get him. Um, He'll go to track. What I do from seven to like eight, I run to Gold's Gym. Get a little bit more in, whether I did, maybe I didn't finish cardio or I wanted to get a little extra in on the bag or something. And then from eight to nine, I got to teach the Muay Thai at our gym. So pretty much that ends my day. I'm getting back at like 9 30, 9 40. Um, I uh, eat. I can't, I'm, you're saying all this and my brain can't comprehend. <laughs> How you were doing? Just, this. Look, I'm just, I'm just picturing <laughs> him Monday, running this around Monday, like, bro. Like, <laughs> hey, and not only is he is he a monster, but he's building a monster for yeah. real. Whole yeah. family fight. Yeah. Whole family, about to, whole family I'm, I'm, about to whip some other family. <laughs> for real. I'm, hey, I'm if it family. happens, it happens. <laughs> Wish y'all would try and take this parking spot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Hey, hey, what, what they say? What they say in Rocky? If he die, he dies. Look, the whole family jump, jump, die. Hey, 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 they, they don't know. hey the Mexicans in New Mexico and um, San Antonio—they're a different breed. Like when I was there for Thanksgiving, um, me and my other homeboy Tony almost had to hop out of the truck on one of them. Yeah. This, this, he got he got him and the family gonna jump out like the Incredibles. <laughs> The whole, the, literally the whole hey, family hey, like make sure hey it's the black version though yeah, yeah. there you go <laughs> there you uh, go so that's the now that's just my monday now this is now my tuesday and this is the week so, leading up to the fight nah this this week's this, leading up to the fight oh, but the, okay. yeah weeks leading so, up to the fight um and tuesday but it don't change much Gotcha. The week lead week leading up to fight. Cause doing that week leading up to fight, I'm doing all cutting. So on Tuesday, pretty much I'm doing the same process, work, gym. Um, I get home, I chill. I don't have any on Tuesday, I don't have any training until eight o'clock. So I'll take my my little ones, they got jujitsu, and my my nine-year-old, he's he goes to MMA before they do jujitsu. And then I think they some days they had track still. So I don't train until eight until eight o'clock. Um, sometimes I try to get there around like seven something because I come into the uh, Muay Thai class to warm up and stuff. Cause my lady, she does jujitsu on Tuesday and Thursday. So my Tuesday and Thursday pretty much is the same. I don't train until I do my strength conditioning. I don't train until eight. I start at eight. That's Tuesday. We do the hard sparring. So we go in there and we pretty much we work through some stuff, sock each other up do what we need to do, but it's not like the intention of uh, knocking each other out, but it is super, it's super intense. It's super intense. The drilling is hard. The training is hard. Um, we go through that from pretty much eight to nine. I get back home as closer to nine forty-five, ten 45, 10 o'clock Wednesday, pretty much is a repeat of my Monday. It's stuff. I don't, I don't um, teach Muay Thai on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is pretty much a repeat of my Tuesday. Uh, Friday is kind of a free day for me. Um, so I get to do whatever I want to, whether I'm a cross train or, or if I want to do some extra strength and conditioning, or if I want to meet up with somebody else and do some other kind of training. Saturday is, um, Saturday is cro I cross train spar. So we do that about like, I just did that today. We do that at 1030. We usually start at 1030. We end around two ish. Yeah, we're in around two ish, so we go through a bunch of hard work sparring. Life, like your whole life, you're constantly active. Just you yeah, know, all the time. You don't sit all still. You don't sit still until you go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, I, pretty much. And sometimes I don't even go to sleep because I stay up. Like the, <laughs> the, the kids, the kids, and all them, they be sleep, but I be up. I was like, man, you know what? The new show Halo came out. I started yeah. looking at that. I was about to say, I was about to say, I know after all of that, like, I know once everybody go to sleep, I, I know you got a moment where you just sit. Yeah, yeah. I said, hey. everybody, when the whole house is asleep, you just, 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I, I need at least an hour before I go to sleep. Well, yeah. I'm in school. I'm in school. I'm in school too. So at the same time, I, I do at the same time I do that. And then uh, but I spend a lot some people gonna laugh, but I spend a lot of my time looking at like anime, like one piece and stuff, because it's like just a react and just from everything. So hey, I look, hey, look, look, we hey to each his own. Like you gotta yeah, I do that. Gotta, I watch one punch. <laughs> oh, I love that. I watch all that stuff. Yeah, so I watch all that stuff. Like um that. my fight pants was my fight pants was Baki when I came out. Yeah, I had Baki <laughs> Hemmer on my fight pants. And sure so, did. So um, and, what, and, what, what weight class do you fight in? Um I used to, when I was amateur, I used to fight at 205. Now I fight at 185, but I should be fighting again in August, and that's going to be at 170. So Ooh, it's crazy. not an easy, it's not an easy cut for me at all. Yeah, it's not an easy cut at all. None of it you're, is. So, so right now, right now you're probably walking around at like 190, right? Nah, bro, I'm like 210. Oh, oh man, you cutting. So, so, and, and but I say, no, nah, put some respect in, on my weight. Two and a half months, you cutting. <laughs> You cut it down count. to 170? You got to cut 50. Now, so, it's a process. So, yeah, about, about a month Wait. and a half. No, yeah, two and a half months, I will be cutting down to 170. Uh, because um, I'm 210 right now. But the difference is, like, when I went down to this last fight, I was, like, pretty much coming back to getting in shape and then yeah. doing it. Compared to I'm already in shape. And now I'm just going to focus on – I'll pick up some intensity of stuff, change some workout stuff around, and – uh, get the weight down. The cut process, the real cut, like that last week of cutting is pretty much I'm water loading the week before. So, example, let's say this last fight I fought on Sunday. The Wednesday before, I started drinking two gallons of water a day. No matter what, two gallons of water all the way up from Wednesday to the following Wednesday. Um, Man, I, I was still going, high. I'm going to the bathroom every thirty minutes. <laughs> bro, bro, I was going to the bathroom so much, but hey, it was clear. It was like straight out. The, it was like straight out of the lake of Minnetonka. Like you just pouring the water just, straight, <laughs> straight out of Lake Minnetonka. <laughs> bro, it was, bro, it was. It was so. It was so clear. It was spring water all day. Yeah, so, <laughs> it was so yeah. So I was doing naturally filtered water, huh? Yeah, exactly. So that's what I was doing. Uh, I was still eating. I was still eating uh, protein and uh, high fats. So that week, that Wednesday before the fights, I cut out all sodium, like no sodium. I started doing the, um, pretty much the stuff that my nutrition gave me. The um, the stuff she had me taking. Um, I can't reveal her her secrets. Yeah. So she had me taking some stuff, which is it's all legal stuff for anybody to think that it it's illegal be. stuff. It has to be. You yeah. I get drug tested military and every fight they I get drug tested. So um, so she gave me that stuff and she had me on that routine for pretty much the last from Wednesday to weigh-ins, which was Saturday. So from Wednesday, pretty much I was when I was going in, I was like two oh three. Two yeah, I was like two oh three Wednesday. Um Friday, by Friday I was one ninety seven. And then Friday is I only had one day of hard like in the sun and the rest of it was just work and no sodium. Uh, my carbs was low. I was pretty much not eating too many carbs anyway. I added certain stuff back in there for the weight cut. So from Wednesday to Friday, 203 to 197. 197. When I went into the sauna, I was it was probably like five in the afternoon. I had a couple of my boys from the uh, gym. They joined me. They don't they just do jujitsu, but they Pretty much, I was like, "Hey, they gonna be my ride or dies just then." Yeah. I was like, "Hey, if I if I start acting like I ain't getting back in, y'all better pick my pick my black ass <laughs> up and put me back in there." Cause we got. I was like, "I can't miss this. Wait, cause I'm gonna fight this dude, and I'm gonna work this dude." So, yeah. uh, pretty much from there, I left out. Once uh, we cut, I got down to like one eighty seven, one eighty seven point five or something like that. From one ninety seven, one eighty seven point five. And then I went home and then um, at home by myself, uh, I got a little portable sauna in my garage. I worked the bag. I, I got on my Echo bike a little bit. So I got one of them Aerodynes that everybody die on. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I worked that a little bit, got the sweat going. And then I jumped in the bathtub, uh, the tub, 
definitely is a lot better than a sauna, but it still sucks because I got to put rubbing alcohol. So if you got to burn, it's going to suck. Rubbing alcohol, um, Espen salt, and the water is at least, uh, it's hot. So it's like 100 degrees. Yeah. Uh, oh. It's it's somewhere near that. It's, it's it's real hot enough that when I get back, when I when I'm sweating, I get in there, I continue to sweat. So what I done was, I started to do that, um, and then pretty much when I after that I was 186, 180. Yeah, I was 186. So I done like 15 minutes of that, and I lost a pound or something to sweat. Yeah, and, um, and then I pretty much stayed there until I got up in the I got up in the morning. Actually, I got up in the morning and done that because when I got home I rested, and I got up like five in the morning and done that. And then weigh-ins was at nine o'clock. So then once I was at weight. I got up, no shower, no nothing, because I didn't want my body to start um, yeah. absorbing any more food. Absorbing it. So if I, if, hey, if I stink, I ain't even care. <laughs> I was like, hey, I already had it in my mind, embrace that phone. That ain't my, <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, and I sweat a lot already. So my clothes, pretty much my clothes that I had on, this is my favorite word, but that my clothes was moist. <laughs> trigger alert trigger alert hey, hey i say that and everybody be hating it because when i'm rolling or when i'm training people i'm like damn bro we moist today <laughs> so, and i'll I be rolling jujitsu with people and they be they be uncomfortable what they do when especially when i got them on their back they lift their head i'm like what and i choke them out <laughs> hey Hey, you gotta be able to, you gotta be able to live in the, live hard in these streets, bro. I, I mess with people all the time. So during your cut and during that all that intense training and whatnot, how's your mental mind state? How do you keep your mind from going into you know what? I don't I don't have to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't have to. I don't have to do this. Yeah, because <laughs> so, I know once you like reduce all the yeah. nutrition that you're bringing in and and you're pulling all that water out of your body. Your brain, your brain starts acting different. Well, how do you? And, and it does, and it does. And I'm not gonna lie, man. It's been times where I'm like in there, I'm like, why the hell am I doing this? I'm like, yo. But then at the same time, I'm like, man, I want. That's why I want to do this part of the game. So I kind of, and I'm not gonna lie, even though I want to say it, the military helps with that stuff. Yeah. From being in the military, it, it helps. It helps build it. Deployments, yeah. all that stuff. It helps build a certain <laughs> mentality. And um, and at the same time, I know that like my kids was coming to fight. I was like, I know they're going to see me, um, you know, succeed and stuff. And that's one thing why I fight because I yeah. try to make sure they know that you can succeed. You're like, I don't care what you do. I don't care if you want to. If you was an opera singer and you was a guy, you can still succeed. You yeah. just better practice. You know, <laughs> that's not what I want them to do, but. But uh, but at the same time, like so that's part of it too. So it's like that mental toughness comes in there. And then when high school I grew up wrestling and stuff, and I just know I was like, man, the shit at the same time, I was like, the shit gonna suck. And it sucked. Like you in there. Um, but that's one reason why I had that them guys with me, because was playing music, we they was talking to me, they was like, hey, and, you know. A good encouragement, you know, because I told him, "Don't." I was like, "I saw on the floor, wrapped up like a mummy." Like, but, but I was, <laughs> hey, I was wrapped up. Face. Only thing was Saint Sean was his face, and so he just wrapped up, laying on the floor. Hey, like a burrito. <laughs> that's exactly that's exactly how I was, man. And I told him, I was like, "Hey, look, man, if I if I don't want to get back in there, y'all gonna have to put me back in there." But at the same time, every time they was like, "Hey, time is up, we got to get back in there." I, sometimes I was like, "Man." But I wait about thirty seconds and then I go back in there. I I crawled in there sometimes, but I, <laughs> I I just crawled in there. I was like, "We good?" And then we'll start talking or whatever. But the same thing I told him. I was like, "Hey, while I'm cutting weight, don't be doing stuff like being calling me no no pussy or no no bitch. Excuse my language, but I was like, don't be calling me stuff like that, because then we're gonna we're gonna have to fight right there. <laughs> like I might be I might be drained, but you ain't gonna be calling me that guy. Cause I know some teams they like. They want to be called that. So I was like, no, nah, I don't want to be called that. Yeah, you, know? you, already be, you already be hungry, hangry. Yeah, I'm, I, hey, but, I, and it's, you know what? It's not even the hunger that really bothers you. You'll be surprised until, unless you do it. It's really the the dehydration that bothers you, the water, the, yeah. the, the dry mouth, the, you realize sometimes you like, you're dry heaving. If you ever, it's, you'll be surprised. It's definitely not the food. The food, I'm like, yo, 
I can survive this. But uh, when your mouth get dry. Speaking, speaking of food, what's your go-to meal after a fight? <sighs> Sushi. 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 Yeah, sushi, bro. I, I, I love I love sushi. Carb load. But, Carb load but, well, <laughs> well, no, because you say you do the uh you 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 do the thing where you eat meat, so yeah. it makes sense if you you know what I'm saying. If because I, I, I thought you was gonna be like, man, I go get me a like a steak or something, you know what I mean? But well, if why you, me eating steak all I was already eating steak, like yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. If you always eat the meat, it's it's you know what I mean, it's yeah, just it's different. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, pause yeah, yeah, pause on that one. <laughs> pause <laughs> on that one. Hey, when it came out, I was like, dang, you said that? <laughs> Man, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, I ain't talking about, hey, I ain't talking about that. So anybody trying to throw me in the kind of melee, I'm going to punch it. <laughs> punch that bit. Hey, I punch kind of hard, too. I, hey, I don't care. Hey, I, right there. Elbow real quick to it. I, I'll... Mm. <laughs> Yeah. I'll say that, oh. and, I, and I ain't eat no, and I eat no animal meat like that either. People are like, oh no, it's good. Ain't no, it ain't good for me. <laughs> I be like, it's good for you, but it ain't good for me. Oh, man. <laughs> so how can um, I guess uh, social media? How can people follow you? You know what I mean? Drop, um, let, let them know. Yeah, I got um, an Instagram. It's at the number one, and then Doomsday. So that's my that's my IG. That's the um, and I got a Twitter. It's at one and then dooms underscore day. Cause somebody took at one doomsday, I guess. But I was like, who trying to be me? So I, guess, <laughs> like, I was like, yeah. So somebody took that. So that's that's what I that's what I got right now. That's why I do most of my um, that's why I do most of my stuff and everything on most of my work. So yeah, I kind of stick I kind of stick to them platforms because right now that's what it is. It's literally about like. Hey, pictures and stuff and people want to interact with you with that so up on the tiktok on the tiktok thing too yeah so i gotta look at how to <laughs> I gotta, especially especially if your kids are in jujitsu you got a cheat yeah. code your kids are yeah. fighting in jujitsu yeah you just all you do yeah, is record them, them. them record them and post it yeah. <laughs> that's it so, that's what i'm that's what i'm gonna have to do i was i was uh looking at uh messing with that to try to figure it out because my one of my uh my son the one that's doing all the stuff he has uh, IG too, so I just do that with him, and um, but that's why I would look at next into doing a, a TikTok because I know my oldest he got a TikTok, but I don't even I'm gonna go now because he probably don't be doing the same thing that I'm thinking about on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he eleven, he get he eleven, he get into that that point. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I gotta hey, watch let me, him. Let me ask you this. Um, yeah. So, all right. So in basketball, you know, I like when you get in the zone. You know, everybody be like, you get in the zone, it's like you're throwing a rock in the ocean. You know what I mean? Been there where you're shooting the ball, and it's just like, it just feel good yeah. coming off your fingers. Like, oh, I know that's it. And it's like, I don't care what they're doing. I just know this. When you fighting, like, when you get in the zone, how, how does that feel? Is it like, yo, did he really just throw that slow punch? Are you looking at it like, you know what I mean? Did it feel like that? Like it's, it's almost like on y'all seen it on the Bruce Lee movies where they be like it. All of a sudden he got replicas of himself and all that. So it, it honestly in a in a view, in a way, it's like that. It's like you get like a like I say it was a, it's a tunnel, it's a focus. Like for me, I notice when I'm doing it. Well, I don't notice till I see it, but um, like my eyes kind of get wide open. Like if you ever seen Mayweather, you'll see his eyes will get wide open yeah. and he don't blink that much. So mine's just kind of like get into that focus. Um, but for me, like that's pretty much what happened. I get into focus, stuff is a little bit moves a little bit slower, and it's like my determination is kind of like it comes more in line. Like at the beginning of this fight, dude threw some illegal elbows right to the back of my neck. And it it had me it had me days I didn't know, but as I was recovering, um, I could see like they would go stop the fight at first. But I told the ref, I was like, no, I'm good, I'm good. And everybody was like, oh, you should have took more time because I had a four or five minutes. But what I noticed was my vision started to not like my view started not to hear everybody. Like I didn't hear my kids and stuff. I only heard my coach and them. And so when that happened, even though I was I was stunned from a legal hit. When that happened, all of a sudden I saw across the cage, I saw his breathing still heavy. It was still the beginning of the fight. I saw his breathing super heavy and nothing was slowed down. So his adrenaline was still up. And I knew I can like get inside for the takedown. 
So once that once we started back up, it's like my uh my focus all of a sudden it just channeled in. It just channeled in like if you hold a cone, if you were to hold your arms out like this, that was my my focus zone. So wherever my eyes had turned, that became like a focus zone for me. So for that, that's pretty much how I feel for it. I feel like everything does slow down a little bit. Things start to move a little bit faster. Um, but I won my title uh, for 185. That's pretty much what happened for me. Um, once I got into focus, it wasn't to the third round. But next thing you know, dude couldn't get nothing on me. He was another big, big dude. And he couldn't get nothing on me. But I saw his punches. I started um, seeing my counter started coming faster. Like I felt like um, my energy level, like a video game. I felt like my energy level was still up here. His was dropping down here, and you can feel it because pretty much body to body contact, you can feel people not get as strong. You can feel them start to slow down. You can feel, um, you can feel their, you can pretty much feel that breathing, especially when grappling. You can feel that breathing. You can start feeling their um, punches don't have the pop on it no more. And for me, once I start feeling like, start feeling that stuff it makes my power meter rise up pretty much. Yeah. I, I think it was, I think it was Tank Davis. Um, I was watching his interview and he was like, he, it was either him or um, Errol Spence. One of them, they was like, when they fight, they like to like kind of feel the person hit them so they can kind of see, you know, I guess like where the power at, or, you know, how, how yeah. it feel. I was like, I don't know if I don't know, I don't know because what if what if the power is more than you thought it was? And you like, <laughs> you're like, oh man, I didn't know he was gonna do that. Now, like, are you scared? Like, so I don't know. It is, it's a difference. 16 ounce gloves and four ounce gloves. The big yeah, old the big, <laughs> hey, hey big. You, you let you let some old you let some old Forrest Gump strong dude come and throw a hit. And you think you can just sit there and take <laughs> understand if you move it and it hit the body, but if it hit flesh, yeah, and he's super stupid strong. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. Like, yeah, you in retreat mode now. That's, yeah, that's funny. I I don't know why I'd, I'd be thinking like if I if I was a fighter, like getting in the zone, you just be like, why well, know he even throw that right hand? Oh, he threw the right hand. Like you know, what I mean? you just feel <laughs> like he threw it. There it go. Uh, night night like, <laughs> the thing is, you, you're thinking it too you thinking stuff too um so because sometimes when i'm fighting my uh i didn't drift it off like when i'm fighting like even this last fight when i was fighting dude and i was throwing the, the elbows and stuff i was like throwing elbows i was smothering his face with my hand and when he moved it, i dropped the elbow on his face honestly i won't even some of the time i wasn't even thinking about the fight <laughs> like I was out there reacting. Yeah, I was like, man, I was like, oh, one time I um I threw an elbow and I was like, oh, the cameraman, the cameraman right there beside the <laughs> beside the cage. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, that's a good. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm in autopilot because I got into that zone. And I'm like, Listen, oh, I just shot. I just heard that person. Like, what what am I gonna do tomorrow? You know, I was like. <laughs> But then, but then you come back, you come back into focus. But at the same time, I would drift off some. But I'm sitting there hearing my coaches and them only. Yeah. Like at the point, I didn't hear my kids or nobody. As people were saying, some people were screaming for me and all that stuff. I didn't hear none. Of people asked me to hear. It. I was like, no, I ain't hear it. And, um, but all I heard was my coaches and them, and I stayed focused in my game. But at the same time, when I'm working positions, I'm like, oh, okay, well, that'll be good. Like, what am I do tomorrow? Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Oh. Let me get back to the fight. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. And, as well. and you, you'll find it. Sometimes your, your mind, your mind would drift. It'll, it'll drift to something that you'd be like, why the hell am I thinking about that? But then the you get fight. right back into my that mind. Like, from, that comes from that repetitive training and you go into auto, yeah. going into autopilot and your body automatically knows what it's supposed to be doing. Yeah. And sometimes I'd have been like where I was like, oh man, I get this position. I was like, oh, I could have capitalized. I should have done that. I missed it now. You know, but that's going on in my head. <laughs> you have a whole conversation with yourself while you're beating somebody up. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, that's going on in my head. Like, damn, I missed that. I could have had that position. And I was like, well, keep on moving, blah, blah, blah. Or I'm like, I got to do like one time I had to do arm. And I was like, okay, he's going to do this. He, he might do this or he might do that. So 
at the same time, but sometimes a lot of stuff is going on in your mind. So I'm thinking like possibly thinking to try to think two, three steps ahead of, I got this position. He got this position to move or he got this way to move. And if he moved this way, I'm going to do that. If he don't move that way, maybe I can throw these strikes to force him to move that way. So I'm always trying to uh, lead the dance pretty much. Yeah. So let me yeah. uh, so let me ask you this: which uh, you say your kids was at the last fight, so yeah. you in the you in the locker yeah. room, you know what I mean? You getting your, your gloves on, you getting ready, wiping your Vaseline, you about to walk out. At what point do you think? Ain't no way I'm gonna let him beat me up in front of my kids. Like, is uh, it when you see your kids? No, is it before you walk I out? I saw him before. I saw him before I walked out. I saw him way before I walked out. So. It was just now. Granted, I've lost some fights, so I think I've got beat once in front of my kids. But the other fights, I wasn't in front of my kids. Uh, and I guess as soon as I as soon as I see them, I'm like that. Kind of helps me calm down too. Like so, as soon as I see them, I'm like, nah, man, I'm about to about to put in this work yeah. right in front of me. Yeah, and I was like, and I want my kids to see this because they know what I do. But I want them to see it because they know that sometimes it might be an occasion where I might get hurt. Like they never really see me hurt in front of them. Uh, I only lost by either I got court submission or I got or the, I got TKO and the ref stopped it. But I never like really got like a serious injury. Um, so I guess at that point, then when I first saw them, that's when I kind of went like, ah, oh, nah, man. Because at the same time, I'm kind of like, if you ain't a little bit nervous before a fight, then something wrong. You're going to be, because yeah, you got to yeah. worry about it. You got to think about, yeah. am I going to get knocked out? Am I going to get this? Am I going to perform? My biggest thing is I think about, can I? am I going to perform like I know I can perform? Not whether I'm going to lose to this guy, but I'm like, if I don't perform like I know I can perform, I'm going to lose. Yeah. Can I do that? Yeah. You know, am I, am I, did I train enough? Did I do this? So once I see them, that kind of helped me, uh, that kind of helped me calm down. Like, oh, I'm good, you know. It is what it is. And then I get in the mindset where like, all right, we're going to the fight game. It is what it is. One of us, one of us about to lose, whether it's <laughs> TKO, submission, knockout, knockout a, um, decision, one of us is going to lose. And I was like, at my, when I walked in there, which everybody surprised the music I walked out to, which was like kind of a more of a, like a Viking, like I didn't, I didn't throw no hip hop. I didn't throw no hype joint in there or nothing, but it was like a, I right, focus. I ain't done this in a while. You got to be ready for war. At the end of the day, this is war now. And so once I, once I got that, once I stepped in the cage, I kind of like, it was that bold, like, yeah, like he sizing them up. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt. <laughs> that's exactly, that's exactly how it made me feel walking in there. And I was pacing back and forth. Like, yeah, we about, we about to do this. One of us, one of us about to go out, you know? So, it's just a, a little switch that got to switch over pretty much. And if it don't, if you don't ever be like, oh, I ain't about to get embarrassed in front of my kids, that got to be in there sometime. Because if you don't, that means you already kind of like submit yeah. to, you know, to defeat. So. so so Tony, with all that going on, um, what do you got in the future? What's your next fight? Um, where can people see, watch you fight at? What can they, how can they, watch your 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 arm battles what can they do so if everything go right we're talking about august 21st on ufc fight pass um it's i don't know what it's going to be fairy fighting championship i don't know whether what number is going to be but it's probably most likely if it's that was 62 so it'll probably be like fairy uh fairy fighting championship 65 or 66 because i'm signed to a four fight contract with them and um but they're um they actually have produced a good amount of people that go into UFC because they're one of them ones, one of them companies that's tied in with yeah. the UFC. So pretty much a lot of their fighters go to there or either they send fighters back and back to free when they need them to pretty much maybe get a couple more wins or something like that. So um, it's been a main, um, it's been a main company because they, like I said, they all the fights is on UFC Fight Pass. So you just got to, uh, even if you want to go look at my last fight, which is, like I said, Fury Fighting um, Championship 62, you got to go and subscribe to UFC Fight Pass, which is, it's about $9 a month. And then you'll search, you'll search that card and you can see it. So um, when I first started fighting with Fury, before I had that opportunity with Bellator and UFC, they wasn't partnership with UFC. But now they're, they're like partnership 
you always see the promoter uh, there with them. I got a pretty much one of my teammates is with UFC, and that's how he got through there. Uh, a couple of guys I know, they all been pretty much through that. And so, yeah, so that's the main way to see my fight, especially the next few fights. Uh, but August 21st is what we're looking at for 170. So pretty much this is my first week back, like getting work in. And then uh, I start back up pretty much doing that, doing that long haul next week. And that'll be, where is that? And then I'm on top of that, I'm coaching youth football. So I got set up to work out for them in the morning after I get off here. So, yeah. <laughs> That's dope, man. That's busy dope. Man, busy man. M- Mr. Busy Man. Yeah. Look, I, I, um, I, give the people give the people the IG one more time. Hey, the IG is at number one sign, Doomsday. It will be my IG. And my Twitter is at number one, Dooms underscore day. So, yeah. So, just hit me up. Um, add me. Um, I'll, of course, I'll accept your friend request if you add me. Please, no negative comments. You know, some people go in there and they say stupid stuff. I don't got time for that. <laughs> don't come on there thinking that, thinking that. Oh man, I can, I think I could take you. You know, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. You know, so <laughs> yeah. So Look, I just, I just, I just sent my request over there. You know, what I, I mean? got you. I, I got you. My request to follow you. So you know, what I mean, we appreciate you coming on, bro. Um, you know, much success. Uh, yes, sir. We, we we wish you nothing but success in the future. You and the fam, you and the Black Incredibles. You know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> and what what y'all got going on is dope, bro. We're gonna definitely keep um you know keep up with what you got going on. Keep up with your fights. Um, we get some. We need to get some content so we can put it on our pages. You know what I mean. I got you. So, I got so you. People can follow you and stuff like that. See some of them, some of them. I know you got some clips of them sixty elbows, a few of them. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I got, I got, I got some clips. I got, some, yeah, I got some yeah. clips, so I can, I can definitely uh, shoot y'all some of that. I got, I definitely got some clips. So getting that, getting that work in. Throw, bet, hey, bet, like bet. you say, throw them bowls. Oh, hey, straight, straight like that. You know what I mean? But we appreciate you, bro. Thanks for your time. You know what I mean? Keep doing your thing, homie. And you know, salute, bro. Salute. Appreciate it, man. Take it easy, Peace out. All right now, man. That was cool, man. Yeah, doomsday bro, job. Man, bro, right. doing everything, man. Fighting in the military, special ops in the military, right. not just the regular part of the military. Kids and everything. Yeah, that and the kids. Wife over that. there kicking people. Woo. Coaching and kicking people. Then he go coach football. He got a, and in school. Straight up ass with, <laughs> ass with the family. For real. Oh, he's always been crazy. It's always been crazy. We we pretty much we were the same peripheral. Like we since we've known each other. I got the same peripheral. What peripheral? Oh, like, we started out doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I think it's share peripheral. What? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hey, he's a cool dude. He's a cool dude. He's yeah, he is. Dude. He is. He is. Yeah, that was cool. Day to day, what's up, man? Not much. What's going on? Over there, Penny, my boy. Yeah, man. Yeah, it was, it's, yeah. <laughs> we ain't you, sound like, you sound like you doped up. Nah. <laughs> That's just you want them meds? <laughs> nah, I don't, I don't take meds. Percocet. Hey, even, even with your surgery? Percocet. Even after your yeah, surgery? I don't take it. Uh, hey, even with surgery. Oh, you just trying to. Dana, let me, to, Dana, let me get them perks. Travel through it. Let me get them perks. <laughs> I don't got a perk. <laughs> 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 give me perk. We're going to meet up, meet up with you, give you this shirt, and get them perks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fellas. That was Man, a dope interview. Here we go, Charlie. That was a dope interview. I liked it. Um, yeah, he's cool. But. Don't do it. Time. Don't time. do it. Is it time? Can I repeat? Is it time? Time for the sour pickle. Bro, who idea is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's my idea. I, I take blame for it. Oh man! Deliciously seasoned with a little kick. What? So, so y'all, y'all made it. Hey, 
made in San, he's a made in San Antonio. <laughs> are you doing the whole one or are you gonna do a bite? Bro, I don't Dude. even want to see the inside of these. Hey, do we oh. go? So we go just put the whole thing in the mouth. Do oh. we want to do the whole oh, thing or do we want to take a big bite? Oh, <laughs> oh man. Whoa. I look forward to this. <laughs> Dana, Dana we brought, that's the second one for the day. Oh, this snake. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Boy, y'all, y'all like too fast. Y'all moving too fast. I got one on now. Some old pickle juice. Oh, I'm about to throw up. I ain't even open it yet. Oh, Boy, that day stink. Hey, look. After this, this is gonna be the end of this episode. We are gonna go to the interview and then the, <laughs> the pickleball challenge. That's... Dana gagging already. <laughs> 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 He, knew, he just smelled it. <laughs> All right, y'all ready? Hold on. Oh, 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 I ain't got nothing to drink. Wait, hold on. Now. I got. <laughs> I ain't think, think about that. We need to get something to drink. We might I don't know. Some, so, I, don't so know. I ain't got nothing but what's in my cup. Hey, I don't think that's ice. a good option. I got ice in my cup. <laughs> hey, let's muscle through it. Oh. <sighs> Go do it on count of three. On the count of three. Count of three. You count. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let me make sure I understand the rules here. We're we going to. Are we just popping it? Are popping we it? biting? Yeah, we're biting the whole thing. The whole thing. And chewing. The whole thing. We're chewing the whole thing. Just go. Hey, I got a paper towel just in case. I got to spit my mouth. I don't know. <laughs> Listen. Ready hey, y'all ready? On the count of three. <laughs> One. Two, three. It might taste like a printer. Slobbing now for no reason. No, <laughs> I, I, oh, I, was, I, I hey. about threw mine up. My head hurt. Look, boy, that was oh. that wasn't a good idea, y'all. That was <laughs> we should have we should have went with something spicy. Oh, why am I? Spicy is the next challenge. This was disgusting. Luck, <laughs> I, I appreciate I all, that. I got it all over my hand. I might appreciate too. that one. It's all in my cup. God, oh, God. No. Man. That was, that was terrible. It, wow. We literally just yeah. bit into a marker. There's no reason <laughs> yes. my face should be yes. that cold. A whole marker. Like, it didn't taste like no pickle. It didn't taste like... It didn't. It had a little... It tastes like, a it tastes like old pickle printer printer paper. But it's stuck in my gum. <laughs> you chewed it all the way up and ate it? I, I tried to. I, I chewed it up and I had to spit it out. Oh my god! I started chewing it out. That wasn't. Yeah, 
I that, got that, out quick. <laughs> I do feel it in my teeth though. That was yeah, it's in my it's in my teeth too. That was terrible. It stuck off. Hey, <laughs> oh, okay. yes. yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all told it's gonna be green. <sighs> that's that's hard. Especially dead. <laughs> God, uh, yeah, that like who, who bro. Bruh, eat this. Who do Mexicans eat this? <laughs> Mexicans, have, Mexicans have weird candies that they like. They might, they might eat this. Let me tell I you about weird nobody candy. Likes them. I bought this in like a pack of Mexican candies. <laughs> had like some gummy bears and some whatever it's called, chamoy. Yes. Yeah. Chamoy is <clears throat> probably the nastiest thing I've ever had in my mouth after this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it tastes kind of fruit. It's like it's like liquid to heat. Wow. Oh. This man. This man, what? Huh? This man, wow. Boy. Man, that was bro. Then I had the nerve to have a, a list hey. of other stuff that they sell, like right. I mean, tasty treats. I, I yes, I like had the I cherry bombs and the I gummy, gummy and them. bloody bear. That's what I had. Gummy and bloody bears. I should have just not called in. I should have just stayed off. Mm-hmm. No, you did the right it. thing. You did the right thing. I didn't you know why I got off. You see you in this challenge. Hey, I had tears. It had me in tears a little bit. I, I still, yeah. I, my eyes still water. My eyes water. Yeah. My, my, my nose was running too. Yeah. So uh, that's happening now too. <laughs> what? Right. Well, with yeah. that being said, see, fan, see, lookers, we do this for y'all. Yeah. Ooh. So, Dang. Do not recommend this. Do yeah, zero, zero stars. Sour pickleball juice. Ew. You know what? That's a yeah. green marker. Yeah, I'm about to eat another one. <laughs> he lied. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't, ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way. I'm going to no try to get Dan to eat one. You won't. Yeah, you're right. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I won't. Man, Jael was asking for one. I'm dead bottom <laughs> over here. I don't even know if I want to do my baby like that. No, because she's going to spit it, it out. Like it's going to be green everywhere. She's going to be so mad. Oh, Lord. Hey, did Amari P have one yet? No, they just stood over here and watched me do it. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody, they, they was holding in their laugh so hard. <laughs> hey, Des- Desi bit it before, she, before we started. She did? Yeah, she did it and took off running. <laughs> uh. hey, I could have ate a whole one. It's still in my teeth. Oh, it's like ah. I'm sour and dry and spicy yeah. and dill pickly and and the thing is they're big. They're big balls, balls. But <laughs> so that means when people eat these, they take bites out of them. So they have to enjoy them. Enjoy it to eat. So them. we're not supposed to pop the whole thing. I don't know. So hold on, like hold. Bro, this got to be like a prank candy. Like, yeah, that it's got to be. Nobody eats this. Nobody food. just gets these. Like, bro, bring yo, give me the get the sour pickle balls. Like, <laughs> Look, it literally says, yo, I just it literally you, says deliciously seasoned with a little kick. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little bite. I'm gonna take a little bite. I'm gonna take a small one. Terry, I'm gonna take a small one. Terry. <laughs> yeah, like who's what? Terry? Like what? My nephew. Oh. Hey, Give him one of them all. How would they make oh. this? I don't understand. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like who who's like and be popping them Jim? And look, mouth just came green. In a mouth just, wait, mouth wait, just wait. green. You walk around, mouth just green now, like. My fingers are green. Yo, you put the whole thing in your mouth? You wildin'. <laughs> what? <laughs> Boy, ain't no way. <laughs> what? Well, this jit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the trash can. <laughs> Well, he just, I was about to say, well, maybe it's made for kids. I thought, bro, we'll finish up. Let me get another one. Like, <laughs> oh man, Ooh. yeah, I got my, got me seeing funny. That was bad. Well, 
I'm sitting here holding this with my finger that got green. Got me dizzy. God, oh. <laughs> oh, I don't yeah. know how he sat there and chewed that with a straight face. Give me, give me high blood pressure. Yeah, so um, <laughs> sour pickle balls. Um, in the comments, in the comments, please, somebody in the comments, if you try these, I know my tongue mm. feels like it's burnt. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't good. That was, we're gonna find something else to. Why that was. It, it says sour. It don't say spicy. Why is it spicy? <laughs> yeah. It it says with the that little kick. That's the little kick they gave. That's the little kick. I thought that was a sour kick. Maybe my taste it like uh, it tastes like a hot printer paper. Like it came straight out the printer. I don't it know what like that, that was. That was different. That was that was pretty bad. Mm. But yeah, um, man. Um, y'all gonna have to spray, explain that green baby poop, man. Y'all gonna y'all gonna have messing up y'all toes. No, hey, I ain't ingest, I ain't ingest enough for that. That all came <laughs> I, out you, you the same way it went in. <laughs> what? What? They, they came out the same way it went in. Nah, man. Nah, man. <laughs> Y'all out of control this show. I don't know what happened. We <laughs> was waiting for you, man. Day to day, you know, you know the people, the people's champ. Y'all got out of control with that one. I got to clear my. I'm, I'm going to gracefully buy out of any more test tasting anything. Oh, we're going to do this now. again. Yeah, nah. we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. Um, the spicy, the spicy stuff coming next. Yep. Danny, we'll we'll give you the pass on the spicy stuff. But Thank after you. that, you you getting back in. we go, you know what I mean? We'll give you a pass. Yeah, on the pass. That's probably gonna be a whole episode. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely gotta be the end of the episode. End of reaction. <laughs> yeah, for real. It gotta be the end of the episode. You can't start at the beginning because or maybe you know what? That'll be good. I think it'll be good for me to ask y'all some questions after y'all. <laughs> yeah. The hot while we're, yeah, do a yeah. QA while we're suffering from my heart it'd be, like, oh, it'd be like the hot wing show, hot ones. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm with that. Yeah. We can definitely do, yeah, we can do that. That'll work. Yeah. Yep. But man, my, look. I order my chips next on Monday. They still oh, we're good. doing we're doing the chip, the, the chip that come in the casket. Yeah. They okay. still got that. Think so. Law hammers. <laughs> look, we didn't even get to talk about um the game last night. Hey. Oh yeah, the finals. Um, <laughs> two two. Steph, hey, Steph proved why he is a champion. R- yeah, run Steph, water. Yeah. Wait, Paul. Paul, I got one question. Why is that one chip twenty seven dollars? Because um, man, that's a viral chip. Because they probably be, it be probably bust, it be bust down them. though. Like that thing can be bust down for about twenty seven people. I know I ain't gonna. We might need to just order one chip. Hey, look, just break it in. <laughs> hey, I don't know which one. I don't know which one you looking at. This which one you looking at? The um the Packley. You got the Packley. This one says thirty five dollars. Yeah, I see one for twenty eight ninety, the Carolina Reaper. Boy, y'all tripping? One chip challenge. Mm. No. I'm finna just um. Man, they got a whole. This a whole box. I don't know. We'll find out. But um, you know, I'm gonna just go in the back. I'm gonna just go in the back. Tomorrow and see if I can find the palette of them. You know what I'm talking hey, about? Hey, <laughs> hey. go get the hey, palette and bring that out. This man's still trying to wash it out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet because he was chewing he that. Chewed up. it for like 15. Yeah, years. he literally yeah. chewed it up. I bet like maybe three times. He yeah, chewed, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. He chewed that. What's wrong with his taste buds? You know that stuff is fine <laughs> grinding to his teeth. He got. He just go. Got to go brush his teeth. Yeah, he, he got to get a new toothbrush because his toothbrush is gonna be clean. You got to mouthwash it. Yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. Look, man. Um, season two, episode twenty-two. Um, another Saturday night, <clears throat> fellas. Appreciate y'all coming on. My dog Dana Dane in pain and all jumped on over there laughing at the man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, pure entertainment from bruh. <laughs> hey, I wish Baby was here. Baby, yeah, I get him to do it too. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, um, oh. Shout out to Doomsday John, man. We appreciate bruh coming on. Dope interview. I mean, he came on, kicked it with us. Funny dude, cool dude. You know what I mean? Shout out to him. Um, definitely not a shout out to them sour pickle balls. Those were disgusting. <laughs> Those are freaking disgusting. But in the comments, if you tried them, drop it in the comment, man. Let us know how that worked out for y'all. Uh, make sure y'all following the, 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 the social medias. Um, everything. You know what it is. You look like a podcast. This episode has been brought to y'all by Roll the Dice. That's right, man. So for all your exclusive kicks. We're doing the, conven the shoot convention next weekend at UNL. And computer parts. Electronics. <laughs> All your exclusive kicks. Electronics. Hard to get items. Don't think twice. Roll the dice. Hey. 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 The rap back hey. in the day, so you know what I mean? That thing be coming off the dome, you feel me? I get in front of the mic, I just get inspired. But yeah, hey, we at the shoe convention next weekend. Um, yeah, my dog out there. I'm going to pull up. When? Saturday? Saturday. Saturday, okay. We can start hey. at 11. Okay, say less. We in there. We're going to pull up. Um, anything else, fellas? I ain't got nothing. Shout out. Oh, when? Man. Shout out to the family. Hey, Shout like, share, subscribe. Family. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Tap that bell. <laughs> You know what I mean? So you get notified. More content on the way. Y'all not there with us, man. Shout out to y'all. Yo. Peace.